Are you ready for this? So, I know you're ready for this. I mean, beyond full brightness, that whole fucking board. <laughs> that's not a joke, that's reality. Easily attainable from this. That was a good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. All right, guys, so, I hope you're revved up because I'm wild and I'm ready to go. So, um, we're gonna start combining devices here real shortly to get massive energy levels, okay? Um, any one of these could be a supply. This could be a supply. Any of these could be a supply. The SM60 uh, or SMKJ, it can be a supply. Done all the exact same way. I mean, every one operates the same in resonance. We do some magic on the output before it goes into the phase two, right? You know, combining devices. So, um, and like I said, any of these. So the next stuff we're gonna move along to is this, obviously. My Kapton tape has arrived today. Get a little bit. I probably not going to go too far, but we don't. We're going to start small here because this, this is not a joke. This is the most scary thing this world has ever seen, and, and I'm not kidding. Okay, and this is only half of the design. The other half of it, the Tesla diode goes inside there with the magnet and the two separation points, the bipolar Tesla coil, and it gets filled full of charcoal. Right? And we're going to contain that etherical energy as a battery right all in one device. That's the advanced one. We're going to start slow and small. Okay? I'm already scaling this up to huge levels that are, are just, you know, two extra turns are going to start electrocuting people. Right? So you, you, this is not a damn toy. And this is, uh, well, <laughs> we're not going to go into exactly what this is because you're not ready for that but we're gonna build the basic small, small version to start. The larger diameter, the more amps, okay? Straight up. The taller it is, the more volts. The surface area. Now that operates as a capacitor, but it also operates as a transformer. And this contains momentarily the etherical energy. When we fire this, and it makes a field and collapses, the collapse lands on that momentarily in a nanosecond. That is an infinite potential. It's a clear passage to the dielectric realm. Uh, infinite potential. So that screwdriver might just fly or vaporize or God only knows. You don't short this thing out. It's one thing to short out the coffee can or a smaller version on the table. You know, th that's one thing. You do not short this big beast out. It has the potential to kill you and probably your neighbor. Like, for real. So this is an etheric capacitor. That's, it's a capacitor. It's a translating device from high voltage to low voltage that works on etheric flux. That flux is converted to electricity on the plate. The plate is extracted to your storage device and powers your house, your car, your UFO, your floating city, your entire, whatever you could ever fathom, okay? So, I mean, we're going to build this. We're going to start small, and we're going to be careful because this goes savage fast. I have videos up about six years ago of this technology in its simplest form. I mean, I was switching. Um, what was I switching? 200, 258 nanofarads uh, through a spark gap uh, to the coffee can. And that was blowing screwdrivers, holes in screwdrivers with every pulse. 200 nanofarads. This is eight microfarads. Now 400 fucking joules, bud. That alone will scare the fuck out of your whole neighborhood when that thing goes off. Like I said, I'm using those expensive sealed spark gaps. That silence this thing. If you blast that cap, go try it once. That's all I gotta say. Just, just, just go try it. Hmm? Would you? Now take that and multiply it by a million times, and imagine. Just, 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 just imagine. Okay. 
So, like I said, we are going to start combining devices. Oh, by the way, I also found some old radios I had. I had some Heath kits, and I was like, damn, I know they got variables. I want one. I took it apart. Both of them are tube-driven. I said, I can't do it. They're beautiful. It's perfection. I can't, I can't wreck it. So luckily I found a couple of these and I got one that's still, woo, so we're going to have some fun with that too. Uh, but that is all part, that resistance, capacitance, tuning is all part of every one of these uh, primary devices. Uh, when you do that, you open the superconductivity charging path to your uh, supply disruptive discharge uh, device and you amplify it. Have a great day.